Were you silent or were you silenced? I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would do it. And I, I just didn't, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. But we had to go to this event and I remember him saying, I don't think you can go. And I said, I can't be left alone. Because you were afraid of what you might do to yourself? If you zoom in, what I see is how tightly his knuckles are gripped around mine. You mm. can see the whites of our knuckles because we are smiling and doing our job, but we're both just trying to hold on. So we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security, he's not gonna be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What about how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. That yeah. was relayed to me from Harry. Those were conversations Ooh. that family had with him. Is he taking your calls now? Yeah, 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 he is. Um, there's a lot to work through there. You know, I, I feel really let down because he's been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like. And this is, and Archie's his grandson. Trapped within the system, like the rest of my family are. My father and my brother, they are trapped. <laughs> they don't get to leave. And I have huge compassion for that. Yeah, she did, uh, without, yeah, without question, she saved me. I would, I would, I mean, I, I think that's lovely. I would disagree. <laughs> I think he saved all of us.